Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna give you a tour of the camper. Finally got it finished, so let's go check it out. All right, as you can see this time, went with the uh, five and a half by 10 foot trailer from Tractor Supply. And when I first built it, I didn't like the looks of it because it just looked like a box on a trailer. So I come in and painted that bottom section where the rails are. I camouflaged it real good. I painted the uh, wheels black also. So that gave it a whole lot better look. I used T111 on the side, turned it sideways, and the top is a uh, stain and uh, waterproof. Went back with my old AC, recycled it. Painted the floorboards black so it didn't stand out, so it all blends in. Got my shore power connection. For the roof, I went back with the uh, poor man fiberglass. You can see I arched the front. It's a little bit, I took it a little smoother this time, but it still has some uh, high spot, uh, little stickers in it. What I did was I glued the top down Left the sides and bottom free. Got that glued down. Then I came back. I wrapped the uh, top coating around it. Glued it and stapled it all the way down. Then I came back with these trim pieces and put on top of it. So it's, it's trimmed out all the way down. So it's not coming off and ain't leaking. Also recycled uh, my windows from the last camper, mm -hmm. if y'all seen that build. We gave us some decoration on the trim, a little feathered look here on the front. On the back, I left the overhang, give it a little porch effect with some decorative ironwork. All right, so this is my favorite part of the build, kind of your own custom design here. Make something a little bit different. All right, so here's the back end. I went with the homemade door. Like I said, I got the little bit of overhang. Have some magnetic lights up underneath here. When I get to campground, I'll take, put them back on. I got some hangers here for the lanterns. These are LED lanterns that flicker. I'll show those later after dark. But uh, yeah, it's homemade door. Got the window off of uh, Amazon's a storage uh, playhouse window. Use gate hinges. Let's open it up for you. All right, I built this door to weatherproof it. I got me a. Uh, I think it's a one and a half inch by one and a half inch angle iron down here, aluminum. I put it in, drilled it into the floor, sealed it on the back, sealed it on the front, where the door comes up and seals right here. Okay, on the inside of the door, I just used some one by fours, ripped down, I think I ripped them to one by three. All the way around. So that goes all the way around the top and bottom. I took and uh, I sealed all this underneath these porch boards there. I've got some holes drilled in these spots right here. They go all the way through. Then I rubberized that with some rubberized coating and then painted over it. So it won't be any water penetration. I'll just run through the holes and run on out. All right, so here's the insides. Over here to the left, as soon as you come in, I built a little shelf, put knick-knack stuff on, another little basket for knick-knack, camping stuff. Got a key holder, whatever you want to use it for. Like I said, I recycled my windows. Now the headboard up there, I've got it about eight inches off the front wall. 
And what I do with my shore power, my shore power comes in right up here on the left. Uh, I got a little uh, small, uh, I think it's a three foot power strip. So it has six outlets up there I can use. And I have another outlet strip that comes all the way down to the end of the camper here. Right here. And I have uh, lights, LED outside lights running on it. But I can also hit this button right here. Turn off all the power when I get out of the camper. Or I can turn off the individual lamps on their own. And as you can see in the front, I got two shelves to put stuff on. Phones, books, whatever you got. So that's kind of the, the deal of it. I got a six inch memory foam mattress. Sleeps real well. Gets ice cold in here. But on the roof, I went with some Luon type paneling. And this you got some trim everywhere there's a rafter in the roof. I just trimmed it up. Also have a magnetic light right here. But that's that's the inside tour. Like I said, we usually set it up canopy over the top. It is totally waterproof, but we always do it for shade and just keep junk from falling down on us. Got the power cord, got the water supply. We ran it over to a portable sink. And uh, that's about it. We uh, usually normally camp with the uh, shower tent to change in and stuff. But uh, we'll let it get dark here. I'll show you what it looks like after dark. What I like about this, these little campers, they'll fit in small spots. This is actually a tent spot. You can't get no big RV in here because that's the end of the driveway right there. But I can wheel it in, get a premium campsite, and be in comfort.